Hello and welcome to Just Hoops. Cade Cunningham of the Detroit Pistons has an opportunity this upcoming season to show that he has the potential to be one of the faces of the NBA. Only playing 12 games last year, he has the opportunity to come back this season and perform at a very high level and show that he belongs on the biggest stages. More recently though, Cade Cunningham has been blowing up NBA internet, NBA Twitter with his performance with the USA Select Team as the Team USA is preparing for the World Cup. He went out there, put on a show, and dominated against some of the best young talent in the NBA. But let's go back quick and talk about his 12 games last season. 19.9 points per game, 6-6 six and six rebounds assists, 41 from the field, 27.9 from 3, 49.2 true shooting, and just under a steal per game. Cade Cunningham has one of the highest potentials in the NBA, so now let's dive into the film, see what he showed last season that can translate to this coming season and potentially to his stardom. So to start things off with the film, let's talk about his pick and roll play, which was his most high usage play type with over 44% of his plays coming in the pick and roll as the ball handler. First things first, with the pick and roll, he did a tremendous job at getting downhill, finishing at the rim, finding advantages, especially in today's NBA with drops and switches. When he had an advantage, either with a matchup or with space, he was able to get downhill, use his big frame, and go make plays at the rim. In my opinion, he needs to be able to get to the rim more and attack with his size and strength, but we'll talk more about that later. Another thing with the pick and roll is that he had a big time mid-range and second level game with a floater and specifically his pull-up jumper. We'll talk more about his shot selection and shot quality later in the video in the half court setting, but in general, you have to know he was in the 97th percentile in field goals attempted in the mid-range, and he only played 12 games. The way that he was able to get downhill, play off the screen, read the coverages, and find those advantages and cracks where he's able to get downhill, get his feet down, find space, elevate and knock down these shots at a high level is definitely big time and something he can continue to build on in the future especially as a pick and roll ball handler being able to set up that screen be cerebral with the pacing and timing of his attack finding that opening sp open space and getting downhill making those plays happen the patience and poise he has as the pick and roll ball handler identifying coverages pulling defense toward or away him and just making the right play was big time but going into next season and the future of his career he needs to continue to develop to punish drops punish unders and just be able to knock down three point shots off the bounce in the pick and roll at a much higher clip than 29 percent to continue, let's talk about his playmaking ability. This first bunch will be out of the pick and roll. In the pick and roll, we talked about his cerebralness with identifying coverages, pulling the defense, and making plays happen that way. And the same applies when he's trying to get the ball to his teammates. He does a great job at manipulating coverages, understanding the openings, pulling a tag to the rim of making a tag go out, just doing the different things and manipulating a defense as the pick and roll ball handler, and then also identifying the open guy, getting the ball there on time and on target for his teammates to make plays happen with an advantage or space in their favor. Cade Cunningham as a playmaker showed a great foundation at being able to make the right plays, read the floor, and just find his teammates. Whether it was in the pick and roll, out of the pick and roll, on the break, his size, his vision, his ball handling, ball control ability allowed him to get the ball out to his teammates in spots to be successful. He only averaged 1.14 point per possession in his possessions plus passes. He needs to improve in the playmaking area with an under two assist to turnover ratio, but overall you can see he has the feel he has the cerebralness he understands where the openings are is able to see and identify openings and cracks whether he gets it there on time or not maybe he dribbles a little bit too much still but at the same time next season he has an opportunity to go out with more talent on his team to go help his teammates be better next let's talk about his scoring potential from all three levels it all starts with his ability to get to the rim he only shot 45.7 percent of his field goal attempts at the rim and he shot the same percentage from there it was in the 10th percentile he has room to grow and develop with his 6'6 frame his strength he has an opportunity to be one of the best finishing guards in basketball Secondly, though, the mid-range shot. He is a tremendous mid-range threat, shot 49% of his field goal attempts from the mid-range and 43% on those field goal attempts. 
the way that he's able to get downhill, get to his spots, and also his ability to show that he can create his own shot off the bounce if he has a switch, if he has space, if he has a matchup that he likes. He can handle the ball a couple times, make a couple changes of direction, use his size, his frame, his strength to bump guys off and create space. And I think that his shot creation ability is something that we can look forward to more growth. And then the three ball, he has the potential to shoot much better than 29%. And you can see in these clips that he has an opportunity to play with a lot of high level guys the big guys that they have between duren Stu, wiseman they have ivy they just drafted thompson just the way that they have so much talent on the floor at all times he's going to be able to play off the ball whether that means knocking down a three or attacking a closeout he's gonna have different opportunities but i think if he's able to knock down that three ball and catch and shoot situations it's going to amplify his offensive game so much more because they're not going to be able to help off of him is going to have more space and time to operate and to wrap things up, we got to go to the defensive end of the floor. Cade Cunningham is a highly underrated player at the defensive end of the floor. We've been talking about size and strength offensively with vision and the ability to get to the rim, the ability to get to his mid-range shot, but defensively it all applies. He has great size, mobility, he moves pretty well laterally, he can continue to improve in that area, but overall when he gets in a stance and he is locked in, it is hard to move through him with his strength. He has the size to guard multiple positions, one through three if not four. He is just a highly switchable highly versatile guy that when he has shown locking in and giving that full effort he can be an elite defensive player and I think going into next season this is going to be the area of his game and his abilities in general that can amplify him from being a really good young player to being a star in this league being able to guard anyone one through three or four being able to take on big time matchups you've seen in these clips he's taken on Dejounte Murray he's taken on Zion he's taken on Steph Curry I think if he takes on these matchups on a more consistent basis and shows more locked in at this end of the floor he can be a big time player and big time just winning amplifier next though it comes to the playmaking i think he can be much more active on and off the ball forcing turnovers blocking shots with that size length and versatility Cade Cunningham has all the talent in the world, all the physical gifts that you can ask for from a basketball player. I think next season's going to be his true step and opening act to his career and being a face in the NBA. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned something about Cade Cunningham and his game moving forward. For more content like this, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you in the next one.